All right, everybody, welcome to your sixth Electron tutorial in which I'm going to show you what browser window module is and how we are making use of it to show this index.html file and some more options we can pass along with this browser window to customize its look and appearance. So first of all, let's just jump to documentation and it has a very rich documentation on github and uh, you can see with the contents as well so that kind of is a lot of information so let's just start with the only information the only stuff we require right so you can see that its process is main that means that you cannot access this browser window module inside your um, renderer process right okay next thing is that you can create something like frameless windows it has some events background color and all that stuff but uh, what we are interested mainly right now is these options okay so right now we are passing no option for or no argument rather inside browser window but we can do that what we can do is we can say with is uh, let's just say 1000 and height is uh, 500 let's just see how that window looks like and once you have done that what you can do is say electron dot and you can see that we have a thousand by 500 width and uh, mind you this is the full width of the application not the browser width and you can just verify that by hitting this uh, control shift and I or you can rather just go to this one as well but control shift and I control shift I is a shortcut so you can just do that right so you can just say window dot width I remember this was in a width or something so you can see that it's 984 it's not exactly uh, 1000 so there's some sort of margin or something so anyways so what we can do is first of all let me just get rid of this dirty ugly hello electron and say something like uh, go damn why not and uh, then we can create a style.css file we can apply some uh, resetting ourselves and we can then say um, text align center and then finally we can say for this for the sake of this example display flex height 100 viewport and uh, what else justify content center align item center there we go and uh, finally for the div we can say color black font size 3 rem and font family calibri i guess i have on my computer uh, we can say this is background is black yeah that should get us started color white that's it so all right so let's just see what's happening we do not have any styles applied for body oh okay obviously we are not including the style sheet yet style.css and you can see that we get this code dam in black in the center of the screen and 100, 100 VH for the application is obviously for this window only, right? So now we can take a look at some more options in here. So if you take a look in the documentation, you can see that we have something known as use content size, which is the width and the height. And if you set it to false, then you can actually customize the width and the height of your document with CSS only you can do that but uh, I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now then we have minimum width minimum height and uh, maximum width maximum height which is quite self-explanatory then we have resizable right now if you see our application is uh, resizable right and since we're making use of CSS so it doesn't matter what we do our code down would always be in center right so you can just disable this thing by passing in resizable as false and uh, again just launching the app and now you can see that I do not get any option or any that cursor hint that my window is resizable right 
again then we have uh, uh, maximizable minimizable windows which do not work on Linux as uh, as it is so then we have a closable focusable always on top then we have all these options full screen full screen above and uh, then we have this title option you can specify title here or in your index.html file you can see that it's hello world right now but if i relaunch it you see we get hello world 2 which is the same title in our index.html file right then you can have icon as well which is currently this icon the small little icon you see here as the default one and uh, what this show is is that sometimes you might need to do some work in the background so you do not want to actually launch a window show kind of makes it headless right so you are just doing work without uh, or running anything in the background without user knowing again this frame is kind of cool you can just specify it false and uh, what you would get is a frameless window which would look cool for applications like if you are um, creating some sort of installer or something and the colors are mixing i guess uh, i can actually cannot drag it right now but i guess i can do that by moving it with that so you can see that this application is window frameless and kind of looks cool if you are creating um i don't know some so any sort of application this one looks better than windows framed but again you have to create if you do something like this you have to create your own stuff for moving this window like creating a little area here so that the user can drag stuff which we can take a look later on but that's not the concern for now right then we have this parent which you can make use to specify a parent window and if you do specify one what would happen is that the child windows are always above parent windows right so what we can do is create another instance let's say win2 which is like 500 by 250 half the size and uh, for this we can simply say something like codedam.com only right and uh, what we can do is specify its parent as uh, win right and uh, if we run this again you can see that uh, we get another window but uh, the URL isn't launched let's try this without quotes right and uh, okay I see that uh, the URL isn't loading right now um, and I actually figured out this is because uh, on my computer I have uh, map code dam and uh, actually star.codedam.com to local host only so i have been developing codedam.com website locally on my computer so i've just mapped this domain back to my computer itself so my url won't work for now so let's just load um, example.com per se and uh, let's just say electron dot and you can see that we get example.com loaded now the difference is that you can see that the child always remains on the top instead of uh, going out of focus or going to bottom right so you can see that you can just override both the windows but the child would always remain on the top but if you just remove this line you can just get another another window just like we have um, hello world 2 we can just get this one so again there are a lot of other options right here we see um, background color transparent then we have web preferences which we are gonna look accordingly as we um, proceed with the series right so if you are running if you do not want to run javascript on an instance which you're firing 
then you can just disable this one and uh, everything else right so we have then these these events right so you can write an event something like uh, so we can just write an event closed and uh, what we can do is say win dot do dot on closed and then we can define a function here and say that uh, console.log win2 was closed and uh, inside our console if I close this you can see that we get win2 was closed so you can attach all these events accordingly on focus blur responsive and we're gonna take a look at how to pretty much make use of them later on as we proceed with our app so that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one